about Safari um, and not that forehead that he had chopped in half over there in Iran, allegedly. That's a crazy hairline. Him and Tiger. They had a hairline on their ass. Anyway, Erica Mena, who has had her self-respect, her dignity, her self-esteem, her morals, and her life sucked out her body by Safari. See, Safari went from the man who was Nicki Minaj's gay stylist Safari so went from the man whose job it was to fetch the beef rice around and go look at that My Time Is Now documentary on MTV. I'm not lying. His job was to go and get the rice around and give Nikki that sausage when she felt like it, when she didn't want to be gay on a holiday like K. Michelle. His job was to twerk and pop, lock it, drop it in the background for Nikki. He never wanted to be a man. He never wanted to do nothing for himself. He never wanted to make a name for himself. And the moment he tried to, he got robbed in a park named Dykeman. Is it Dykeman or Dickman or Dickman Dykeman? I don't know. Got robbed for all his chains. This the same fool him in that alien sized forehead. All you niggas is looking up for the UFOs when the aliens is clearly already here. You're looking at one right here. You're looking at an alien right here, and you're looking at a woman at a bob at the bottom, at the bottom, who looks exactly like everything she been through. See, Erica, when I see your face, I see a woman that spoke out of turn. I ain't never forgot on my space. When you drop kicked your first baby daddy in the neck, I know you was crazy as hell, man. I know you was crazy as hell when you was folding stained panties down there at Dash in Miami for the Kardashians, all right? I know you was crazy as hell when you thought your ass could sing. I thought you was crazy as hell when you thought you could ever come for Nikki because Nikki is the queen and you are the, um, you, you are nobody. You are the queen of veins and forehead. You are the queen of high blood pressure because you look like you got it. You're the queen of playing with your clit in one room while your husband jerk yourself off in the sink in the next for money online all while the baby crying downstairs only to still end up divorced. You are the queen of unpaid American Express bills. And ultimately, you the queen of getting the same black man. Shout out to Cynthia G. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But anyway. All right. So, Safari, because he need a job, because what the hell else is Safari going to do? Carried his ass down there to Miami, pretended like he moved there so he can be on the newest season of Love and Hip Hop Miami. At Amada La Negra's baby birthday party, her twins that she had. We don't know who the baby daddy is. Sperm don't. Or hell, I don't know. He presented the babies with Rolexes. And Erica went to her Insta stories not to go and stalk Cynthia, uh, Sin Santana like she normally do. But she went to go complain that Safari is out here doing more for other women's children than his own. And I'm here to let you know, Erica, what did you expect when a man didn't even want the second child? What did you expect, Erica, when you was laid up in the bed, damn near about to go meet Jesus and Rosamia de la Muerte, had your family burning every white, yellow, and orange candle out of the bodega to save your fucking life while he twerked his ass and swung his sausage across somebody's face in Jamaica. While you were taking care of his children, he was somewhere with some other Latina making a horrible sex tape, smearing that black tar that he wears on his head all over the white sheets in the Airbnb, not getting his deposit back and penis shaming everybody because when they saw that flick, the first thing they said was, where did the dick go? They still trying to figure it out. See, you shouldn't have known this Negro wasn't shit when his biggest accomplishment in life was being hung, which is something that he had absolutely nothing to do with, no control over, and didn't put any effort to. You should have known that this man wasn't shit when he was comfortable being in the background of another woman for 20 years. You should have known. But of course you didn't. 
And of course you had to learn the hard way. And when I see you all on the Insta stories, all on the Twitters talking your shit, when I see you, you know, working because you got to work because you got kids to feed, I see disappointment. So you was already a single mother of one only to give a ninja a chance and not be a single mother of three? Close and close to 40? I know you wish you could go back to licking coochies and bumping assholes with Sin Santana at least with no illegitimate children gonna come from it. And your children ain't even illegitimate. The nigga just don't want them. Welcome to the black community, bitch. Welcome to death row. You know how many of us have to deal with our pappies treating the next bitch's children better than his own? You know how many of us had to watch our pappies as they talk shit to us and they walk in the room with another bitch's kids and turn into the jolly black ass nappy headed Santa? And all that time you spent appropriating black culture and using the N word and you can even you 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 can even sit back and learn and ask some questions about how black men really get down when you typically have a baby by them. All that time you let Richie Diabetes pump and dump sugary semen inside of you and you didn't never pick up on the habits of the culture. That's the culture. We all know that black men love other people's children more than they own because ultimately your children are a reflection of yourself. The majority of black men walk around with a lack of self-worth and low self-esteem and, you know, they don't like looking at themselves. And so they kids is reminders of that. And so they, you know, subconsciously treat other people's children better. I don't know why they got online acting like they don't like being stepdaddies. They love being stepdaddies. Black men love being stepdaddies and then the studs is right after that. Low key, you want, low key, you're trying to find a man for your, to help you raise them kids. You need a, a big strap stud. You need a, you need a thick ass a, a dookie braid wearing long t-shirt, sagging ass, got a titty smushed down ass stud. She gonna pay all them bills for you and she gonna take care of them children. And she gonna have a long ass scrap strapped to her left leg. Just like you like it. You like it long and strong and very wrong. You failed. You finally damn near got your first son out the front door only to marry a broke ninja. End up with only a few thousand dollars a month in child support. Two kids under five. And you connected to this fool for the rest of your life. You failed. And no matter how much Botox and Restylane and, and, and fillers you inject into your face, no matter how much food you push from the table because you don't even have an appetite no more, baby, you failed. Your own culture didn't want you before. They damn sure ain't going to want you now. So do what you got to do to raise some children's. Act in every movie on all black TV, Tubi, and even Lifetime if you can make it. And raise them children and move on with your life. And don't expect nothing from him. And don't tell us on the internet because we don't give a shit, Etika. We don't care. Anyway. Uh, it's a storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. It's a storm show.